Hi everyone, or welcome to Tom's Man Shed. Okay, today's video is a review, uh, a tool review. It seems a while since I've done any uh, tool reviews. Been doing a few 3D printer stuff and uh, me uh, MG4 EV stuff. But uh, it's nice to get back to me, so usual Lidl's reviews. Um, what it is, this, well, for years, I'll show you what I've sort of got now. For years, I've had this jigsaw. It's built like a tank. It's a JCB jigsaw. It works really well. It's been totally reliable. I've had it over 20 years. The copyright sort of label on it here says 2002. I bet it's about then that I bought it. It's at least 20 years old. But it's pretty heavy. It weighs, what does it weigh? 2.9 kilograms. So nearly 3 kilograms. Um, and it's not the easiest to put the uh, the blade in. You've got to use an Allen key there at the front and an Allen key at the back. It's not quick release. It's got pendulum action and everything, but uh, like I say, it's pretty heavy. And this one is a... I've done a review of this on the, one of the other videos. It's a Lidl's, a Parkside Sabre Saw, but again, a mains powered one, quite uh, quite big, but great. We've used it, my neighbours used it for sawing tree trunks down and stuff before I got my little mini chainsaw, which I reviewed recently. So I've got a jigsaw and a Sabre Saw, but I saw this in Lidl's and I couldn't resist it. It's a combined, I'll show you the, uh, the box first, a combined jigsaw and sabre saw. So I'll let you read this. You can freeze the frame as usual. And uh, So that's uh, what it comes with. It comes with two sabre type saws a wood one and a metal one and two jigsaw type blades swiss made it says on it three year warranty as with all Lidl's tools which is great to have it's the bare bones unit i'll let you read the back as well should you need to so what so you can freeze that and I think it's a really, really clever design. So, I'll show you what it is. So, well, that is what's in the box. Now, I love Lidl's boxes, most of their tools, because you can carry the tools with the battery as well. Now, like I said, this comes as a bare bones unit. So, You've got to have one of their batteries, Lidl's batteries, and the charger if you have them, which I already have for the other tools. And I'll just show you. The unit itself, the bare bones unit, is 30 quid, 29.99, which I think is really, really good value. Uh, the batteries, I bought a battery at the same time. The other week in Lidl's, if you bought a bare bones tool and a battery at the same time, you got, was it 10 or 15% off the battery? I thought I was going to get that yesterday, but uh, that offer has lapsed, so it's just a normal price. But I already had a 4-amp battery, so I thought I'd buy a 2-amp one, because it's obviously lighter. It'll only last half the amount of time, and maybe a tiny bit less power. But uh, for, for small jobs, that'll be okay, and it doesn't make it as heavy to, to lift. Uh, that was 15 quid, 14.99. That's for 20 volt, 2 amp, and they're a nice battery. They've got uh, LEDs to check the state of charge and that. Now, like I said, the cases, I love uh, Lil's cases because that's how it comes, but you can store a battery. Just bear with me. You can store a battery there. The two amp one. You 
you can store one on the machine and the lid will still shut so you can have one on the machine and a spare one here also you can fit the 4 amp one there and the machine will still fit inside it's getting quite heavy now but we've got the 4 amp one underneath it we've got the 2 amp one fitted to the saw and we've got space here for another 2 amp one and we can still shut the lid and everything so uh, that's a great feature of I find of uh, Lidl's cases so it comes with two saw blades for the uh, the sabre saw bit and two jigsaw blades one for metal one for wood and the other the same one for metal one for wood that's the battery fitted you've got a little when you press the button turn it on there's an led work light and that's quite quite bright i've got it on the slowest speed at the moment a little speed selector here so as i turn this up So uh, sometimes it's better having a separate speed selector instead of on the trigger because then you can just pull the trigger all the way as you're cutting around you're not, and you're not varying it and you can set the speed. This one here is pendulum action. So what that is, as, as the blade is moving in and out, it's also going up and down a bit. So it's like that. And, and it does make a big difference when you're cutting wood because... The saw blade has been forced into the wood like that as well. It cuts it a lot quicker than without it. But you would leave the pendulum action off for cutting metal. So if you're using the fine-toothed uh, hacksaw-type blade, you would leave the pendulum off. It's just really for wood. And if you see the, uh, the amount of movement, this bit here, as I'm shoving it up and down, I can hardly move it. But when I put the pendulum off... There's a, it's hard to show there, but there's a lot more. Sorry, that's the pendulum on. So you've got that extra movement there. And then when I lock the pendulum off, that that is like locked. It's not moving as much. So that's your jigsaw mode. And then you press this button here. And slide it up for your saber saw mode and the blades they go in dead dead easy I find the the bigger blades the saber one um, sort out ones do go in a bit seem to go in a bit easier sometimes you've got to line up the smaller ones but I'll try doing it here while holding it up to the camera and it's like a quick release collar this you just twist it around like that to insert the blade push it in let go check the blade is locked on like it has and that's your saber saw type blade in and the same for the jigsaw like i say sometimes you've got it so that went in great that time but Sometimes if you shove it in at a bit of an angle or too far down, it doesn't quite catch. Always sort of like release the spring-loaded thing and make sure it catches. But you can say out and so there it hasn't gone in properly there. So it's because I'm trying to hold it to the camera but well, <coughs> that's locked in once you get used to it knowing where to hold it it is better and it's easier doing it down away from the camera so that was locked on but like I said always make sure it's locked on then to release it just twist this and it just pulls out 
so that's it. So like I say, you get your bare bones unit for twenty nine ninety nine, thirty quid. Battery, the two amp one is fifteen quid. Uh, forget how much the four amp one is, probably about twenty five quid, I think, something like that. But again, the uh, the nicely done. Uh, Big Clive did a strip down, I think, of these, and if the, they use proper, genuine cells and uh, the battery balancing and everything it says on the thing, it has got battery balancing. The weight, I weighed it with, it, I think it says what in the instructions, 1.7 uh, kilograms or something. I weighed it myself with the battery, and it was 2.1 kilograms. That JCB mains one was 2.9 kilograms so uh that's another in pounds that's another 1.7 pounds nearly two pounds heavier for that mains one so still quite heavy don't think the motor is um a brushless one but i know the motor won't be a brushless one but again you know brushless ones yeah lovely motors more power more long lasting but still you still got thousands of hours of life in a normal brushed motor for the amount of times i'll be using it it'll be perfect so let's have a quick look on amazon and see um if there's any comparisons on there so this is from amazon I've, i did find earlier on a works one now i've had a few works tools and they're good they're, i like them they're uh, good quality but this is the uh one of the only one, other ones I could find. In fact, the only other flip round I could find. And you can see it's the same. You flip it, one access to it, release. Uh, not chuck, quick release blade holder, the same. Again, it's a bare bones unit, but that's like 80 quid. It's normally 109. It's got 27% off on Amazon at the moment from the work store, and it's 80 quid. Oh, this Parkside one is 30 quid. So it's more than double the price. And looking at some of the ones on Amazon, again, I couldn't see any. There's this, just a standalone jigsaw there, uh, like a no no make do. And, and don't forget, these, I'll doubt any of these have a three-year warranty. They may do, I don't know. There's this very one I'm reviewing there, look. That's exactly the same. And somebody is selling it for 75 quid, which is just a rip off. The 30 quid in Lidl's, it's Lidl's own make part side. And there's other companies on here on Amazon selling it, inflating the price to over double to 75 quid. So, uh, yeah, but that uh, shows you what it does. So, yeah, a uh, pretty good value at 30 quid, I think. And, uh, like I say, you've got to get yourself a battery and a charger. I've got already a charger. Again, I reviewed this in a separate thing. But this is Lidl's uh, own quick charge uh, charger. They do a standard one uh, for one battery. So it just pushes there and slides off. And then you slide it on and it'll charge two batteries quicker than the standard single one. Uh, forget how much this was, but again, good price. And it gives you a state of charge as it's charging. So you will need a charger, uh, a single one or this double one, and the battery as well to do it. But uh, that fits a vast amount of different little tools. They do another battery as well, like a tubular one for the smaller tools, the screwdriver and the small drill. Um, and that's a, a different size so you will need to get yourself one of them so let's have a look at it now in action just cutting a couple of uh, different items I'll, I'll dig some uh, metal out the garage and uh, some wood uh, we'll, we'll show it in action okay so first of all we've got the uh, metal cutting like the hacksaw jigsaw blade in so I've got it set at about speed four I would think for this and no pendulum action on on metal.
And anyway, you get the idea. You can see a bit of a curve I did there earlier on, but uh, I don't know what this stuff is. It's uh, It seems tougher than aluminium. Might even be titanium from Robot Wars, I'm not too sure. But uh, I think it might well be, but it's it's harder than aluminium. But see, cut that okay. Uh, and if we change it to the bigger, bigger blade that you would use. And sort of like so, go it wrong way around. Check it's locked in. That's it. And you would use that in that sort of mode. It's probably going to bounce all over the place, this, but. that would actually be the one to use for cutting straight lines more than the uh, the jigsaw type one. Right, well, uh, well, while I've got the fine blade in, I'll just swing the camera around. Uh, I've just got a, just a piece of plastic waste here. Should zip through this pretty quick. See, that's uh, easy so we'll get some wood in it now okay so we've got the uh, the sabre saw wood cutting blade in now we've got it as you can see in folded out into sabre mode and uh, again pendulum action off I'll just try so into it's triangular wood this Yeah, it's a bit hard to grip. Let me uh, reposition that. That's a bit more solid now, so let's try that. As you can see, just easily through that. Uh, it's obviously quite a soft wood, but you can see that's what you'd use that for. Right, well, let's stick the uh, the jigsaw blade in it now. Okay, so I've got the wood cutting jigsaw blade in now. It's on jigsaw mode. And I'll show you the, uh, the difference when we put the pendulum action on. So, try cutting a few curves. It's just a piece of uh, laminate floor in this. So that was without the pendulum action. So I'll just slide this along a bit. And this time I'll turn on the pendulum action. It's a bit hard to uh, demonstrate on uh, on camera because you've got to feel the difference really, but but it, it really is so much uh, easier. It tends to do sort of a bit more damage on there. 
but it absolutely went through that. You could really, really tell the difference once you're using it, with it moving backwards and forwards as well. So, one more. So, uh, yeah. So yeah, as you saw there, uh, seems to work fine. Uh, like I said, that metal I was quoted, even though it was quite thin, because I'm not sure what it is. It's, it's not your normal, just aluminium. It seems very, very hard. And like I said, many years ago, 24 years ago, we did compete in Robot Wars with our robot chip. Uh, Rob, team captain, I don't know whether you're still around watching this or not, uh, in Wales, but uh, yeah... Happy days then, but uh, yeah, it might have been a bit of leftover titanium from that. I'm not too sure. If not, it's some strange hard alloy, but it, it got through it okay. Uh, the wood, no problem at all. And as you saw, when we put it on pendulum action, that extra, instead of just the vertical up and down, which you would use for precision metal cuts, that, that sort of movement it is massively different. You really feel it sort of like pulling you through it sit through it much much quicker oh I'm, I'm just squeezing this bit in because i forgot to show you the instruction book there's not a lot to, again to know big thick usual little's instruction books it's in multiple languages and most of it is safety all the usual wear the goggles gloves and all that sort of thing but uh, there's never any silly translations chinese to english translations or anything like that and they always tend to have like an openable bit there that's uh, identifying all the parts with the numbers and you can read through the rest of the book while still seeing the drill. So, uh, yeah, nothing you really sort of need to know in there, but a full proper instruction book. Okay, so uh, that's it. As you saw there, worked pretty well. Uh, I think for 30 quid, you can't go wrong. I've mentioned it a million times on my other videos, but Lidl's, all little part side stuff is guaranteed for three years and they do stand by it. Many, many years ago when I was building this shed, I used the little, tiny little early version of the drill to put the whole shed together. So it got far more work than it was really designed for. And towards the end, the back started coming apart. The, the, the screws that hold the two halves together, the threads and strips, and it was coming apart. It still worked but it was coming apart again. I rung up the contact number from the book. Two years, 10 months old, remember? And they sent me a brand new one and said, just keep the old one. Uh, the old one still works and I'm still using it now. Even though it's coming apart a bit, I've not used the new one they sent me until the, the old one totally breaks and it's still working now. So they do stand by their guarantee. If it breaks down within a year, you can get it replaced at the store or get your money back. Uh, between one year and three years, you've got to ring the contact number up and they, they sh they'll they sort you out. But uh, yeah, I had no problems whatsoever getting them to send me another one. So uh, yeah, I thoroughly recommend uh, Lidl's tools, no matter what people say about them being crap or whatever. I don't think they are. Like I said, not in the league of DeWalt, Milwaukee, Makita, stuff like that, but no, nothing like the, the prices either so uh, yeah i think it's good value so hopefully this has been of some use to you thanks for uh, sticking to the end of it if it has been of some use it'd be great if you could give me a thumbs up if not by all means give me a thumbs down if you haven't already subscribed and you'd like to please click the little picture here of the shed on the left once you've done that click the bell icon below and you'll be informed of any new uploads Hope to have another one very, very soon. Hope to catch you for that. Thanks for watching this one. Bye for now.